right, everybody, welcome to Rana's Radar. Now, let's introduce another personality, another awesome custom builder right here at the Redneck Rumble. So I'm here with Ian and Jamie Russell. How's it going, you two? Hello. Hello. Good. So far, so good. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Absolutely. We love the show, full custom garage. Myself, I want to know Ian a little bit more, and we want to get to know Jamie as well and just find out how it all started because you're here at the redneck rumble and we love custom cars we love recycling and working on projects on a budget ian how did everything begin for yourself as well, a builder started a long time ago <laughs> in a land far far away literally 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 okay so tell us about the land well i grew up in new york love custom cars love volkswagen it's not a big hot rod scene there in 1997-ish. And I was reading all the magazines, they all came from California, so I moved there and pursued the dream. That's it, California is where all hot rodders literally started, is what I'm understanding. The yeah, birth the of Coast. American hot rodding started in Southern California. So you moved over to California and you were a fan of the Volkswagens. Now there's not much you can do with a Volkswagen. Oh well, yeah, just look around here. <laughs> <laughs> to make your decision. What was it about the Volkswagens? Did you like the stock look or was it always about you wanting to change it and make it look very different? Because they can be very simple looking at times. Yeah. Well, for me mainly, and that's what really resonates throughout my career, in New York at that time period, Volkswagens were weird. Nobody had them. Everybody's like, what are you doing with that? Don't you want like a Chamel or a Camaro? And I was like, no, I want that weird Volkswagen bug. Ian, you're a tall guy. <laughs> That's a good observation. Yeah. And <laughs> hey, Jamie, you would agree as well. Usually with Volkswagens, you don't, you know, I would have oh, mentioned yourself. You should see us trying to get into the dune buggy. <laughs> but the thing is, with the Ed Roth drawings and so much of the monster art, it's the big monster in the little yeah. car. Yeah. It adds up, right? There you go. Now, we love full custom garage. How did that get started off for yourself? Uh, well, I got chosen by a production company, and then it all just blossomed from there. Uh, I had a billion ideas, and they were able to get a contract with a TV show uh, marketing company, and that's how it happened. Now, recently we interviewed Jeremy with the Space Junkie 1.05, I'm going to call it officially. Yeah. <laughs> That was one of your first builds or earlier builds? That was a very early build. I'd call it number three in California. Wow. Space Junkie 1, yeah. Okay. Yep. And had you always just thought about being just... What I'm loving about your build is the creativity. Where does that come from? The universe, the divine. That's the divine. where it comes from. It's out from. of this world. It's come from somewhere. I'm just a, just a portal. Right. You, um, you guys are very active in the world of YouTube mm -hmm. as well and we love seeing it because we love YouTube. It's free and people want to connect with yourself which is why you had such a huge line, I mean for three hours so I do it's appreciate it. Some guys. people said that they, they actually commented and didn't share with you, they commented in our community tab about how we were going to be here that they have been waiting for like two hours and they like couldn't wait to see you and stuff. Nice. <laughs> people were waiting for two hours, yeah, Jamie. I mean, it's pretty Incredible. I've been here since this morning and I'm a little like blown away how many yeah. people. We were not expecting this many people. We're on one side of the lens, right? So yeah. we're doing our That's part. Really we don't know cool. who's watching until you get to an event like yeah. this. We Very know our subscribers. We know our subscriber count on yeah. YouTube, but that's not the people. That's yeah. just right. that's just data, and this is just like overwhelming. Yeah. What do you think is it about you guys that people connect to the most? I think it's our couple and what we're doing together. Yeah. Just knowing that it, like, it's real hands-on. It's Jamie and I, yeah. right? Well, and I think we're just like, well, like you said, like we're just real people, just doing stuff. <laughs> not personalities and or right, and we're not, so we're not even, and we're not even trying to put on like a show or anything yeah. we're just like back there and Ian's working on know. cars and he has ideas and I'm just like oh I have questions about these things and let's capture it and keep the culture alive it's relatable yeah yeah it's definitely relatable which is why I'm so glad you guys have got your YouTube channel separate from the show full custom garage is awesome eight seasons and it's going strong but by having the YouTube channel, we get to see and meet you guys personally. Yeah. And more importantly, Jamie, yourself, you're very much involved in that. Oh, yeah. I answer. I'm 
pretty much full custom Ian in all the yeah. responses. So, the YouTube <laughs> is like I do the work in the garage and everything else is all of Jamie's creation. Yeah. yeah. What about the cars, Jamie? Where do you fall? Where does your passion and love fall? Um, with the cars? Well, Ian's building a Jeep for me. Yeah. I, I, there's a CJ 2A that's been sitting out in the yard for what, four years? A while. Yeah. That I've had my eye on and the project didn't make it to a full custom garage. So now that I'm producing the YouTube channel, I was like, you're building me a Jeep. <laughs> there you go. Run of the line. Just like that. And that's, that's how it works. So. Would you get your hands dirty? You know, I've tried welding. I burnt myself a few times I'm not really that interested in that I like the nerdy like you know and I love like the socialization and answering people back nice. answering emails like that's something that's just more I vibe with but I think it's crazy like the stuff he does like in the shop it's wild what is one of the craziest things you've done Ian? a lot of people ask you know what's my favorite I mean craziest maybe the blue demon trike thing that's here <laughs> But my favorite, hands down, is the Johnny Five little hot rod thing. Yeah. You can look it up. It's a little Volkswagen sort of hot rod. But now, there's yeah, been a lot one. of talk about that actually around. Yeah, it's crazy And that's stuff. what we show that a lot in our outro on our YouTube yeah. channel. And both that yeah. and the trike, it's, it's art. It's pure art. No, there's no reason for that in the world. Right. We, lo we <laughs> love the trike. I love the trike. I mean, when I interviewed Eric, I couldn't believe it. I mean, look, what is this? What is going on here? Yeah. Exactly. You got it right. It's, and, and, what and is I would it? still say that with a confused look, and I just went and sat on that thing. <laughs> Did yeah. you sit in it? <laughs> it's like a carnival ride, but it's artistic, I don't even know. Though. Yeah. It's artistic, yeah. and, it, and it works. And I think that's one of the things that I love the most, and people here and at home would appreciate that you're able to do things that they can do at home. Mm -hmm. gives them ideas and inspiration yeah. on how to make things work at home. It's yeah. not yeah. about spending those millions of dollars, right. but making things work. And I think and that's stuff, what the public love. Right, and stuff costs money. And you, Ian really does use minimal tooling in the shop. Yeah. Like, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, and I love that our, our YouTube does get very personal about that. It's like, yeah. it's not just a quick edit to the finish. It's the yeah. whole process and the struggles you face. Yeah. And some people say it's a slow build, but that's really, there's some people today that have shared, it took them seven years to finish their build. You know? I think one thing everybody has to understand in the world of YouTube, it is real, mm -hmm. it's raw. There isn't a team of 40 people who come in between the takes mm -hmm. and build the yeah. project. It's you guys, it's just you guys. Yeah. And it's just the same as anyone else at home working on it. Yeah. I get questions about my build, I'm still on the suspension. <laughs> So takes I can understand, a long time. and it does yeah. take a long time, but that's that's YouTube. That's us connecting with everybody yeah. out there and just showing what we can do. I mean, absolutely by yeah. no means by saying us at the same level as Ian here, everybody. <laughs> so much respect to yourself, Thanks. and I hope to check out more of your builds. What are you working on next? What's the next big thing that we can expect? What's in that mind of yours? I can't. I can't drop the. I can't drop the secret. <laughs> Is it going to be but... a little joy? Uh, it's a it's it's something that Jamie, we have. Jamie, there's a mic there, so even much. if you turn the way. I said it really quietly. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Well, it's a project we had formerly attempted, and it got sidelined. So okay. that's the next big news. That's yeah. the only hint. When can we expect it? Uh, like I think him starting it. 2025. Okay. Yeah. yeah. January-ish, after the new yeah. year. Yeah. Now you were at SEMA recently, yeah. last year you were at SEMA and you had some awesome builds there. There was a police car which did not look like a police car anymore. Oh, that one, yeah. <laughs> that white car, yeah. that's really cool. I'm going to put a picture up there for you guys so you can have a look. Please do. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And was that a, Qua a Crown Vic? Crown Victoria, yeah. The iconic, you know, mid-90s police car in Los Angeles. Yeah. I'm guessing you added some metal to the back in the front? An entire vehicle shrouded the police okay. car. The, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. the more you look at it, you're just wondering how it just doesn't look like a crown. <laughs> well, if you ever see it at a car show and Victor's there, he has a, you, you see this banner behind us? He has a whole banner yeah, documenting showing it. Yeah. the whole story of it. It's yeah. really neat. And is that on the channel as well? That one's on Full Custom Garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's called a One Piece at a Time episode. One yeah. Piece at a Time. Yeah. But we're going to have some fun today. Yeah. You're going to go over there and ride that. Well, it's, it's rumored. Top. I don't know. If We're he's not gonna. sure if that's going to happen. Gonna. I think 
he may end up riding anything in the space junkie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, either way, we have had a lot of fun here. Everyone at home, full custom Ian. I'm going to have it in the description, everybody, as well as on the title as well. Check it out because for some reason, I like YouTube videos a lot more better than the TV. The TVs look so pretty, but the YouTube gives you the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> It's real. It's real. Yeah. It's real. If this guy cannot figure something out, you will see it there. And the awesome thing is then you're going to find out how he's going to maneuver around that problem. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yep. As somebody who's learning about restorations, Ian, tell me one tip or one something that you have used over and over again in builds and you cannot get enough of and everybody needs to know about this. Use your intuition, your imagination. No tool can account for that. It's your drive. Just keep going. You'll yeah. figure it out. If there's a will, there's a way. Exactly. Yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. We're going to see more of Ian on the channel, you guys. Thank you so much, Jamie. Thank you.